The next add-on is the correlation matrix. I know that you already are using some correlations. I know that um, there are many self-built uh, tools like I, I did in the past. Uh, I, I was forced to, to code my, my tools in Excel or in the MetaTrader for programming language. But, but soon I understood that uh, this is taking much more time and efforts than expected and I could use that time for trading and uh, for developing myself as a trader, not as a programmer or as, or as an IT specialist. That's why we have here the correlation matrix. You, you can easily add or remove um, currency pairs where you want to see um, the different correlation between them. You can choose what history to be that correlation based on. You can choose to highlight or not highlight the certain correlations. And you can choose the exact um, time frame where that correlation is calculated. Now, after choosing a, a special pair, which uh, you think that the correlation um, uh, has something uh, to be traded, then you most probably need to easy and direct trade that currency pair. That's why there is another add-on prepared for you called the correlation trader. From here you can see the, the current correlation at the same time place orders. You, you see here some of the, of the known um, options uh, with the mini terminal. You can, you can have them here too. And you can set your stop loss and take profit in pips. Of course, you can put a trade on through the correlation trader and later manage it with the mini terminal, which also has the opportunity to move your trades among the, the chart with just uh, a simple with just a simple movement of the of ticket of the number, like you see here. That's a, a market order and we, by clicking on it, we can receive an important information about it or we can close it or we can amend it. If that was a pending order, I could move it on the chart by just dragging that, that ticket here, which is much easier than um, trying to pick the exact uh, small tiny line of uh, the original MetaTrader. Now where we were with the correlation trader, <coughs> you can set also the non-hedging mode or the hedging mode. This means that um, if you open a position of buy and after that open a sell position, the add-on will automatically use the sell position to close the buy position and you will not end up with two positions in different directions on the same symbol, just paying more commissions when closing them. <coughs> this is going to save you commissions and this is going to affect your overall performance in the end of the month. You should not, you should not undertake that um, the commissions are important part of the performance of the trader because in the end of the month if you have paid 50% less commissions as I, as I believe will be with JD brokers and those add-ons because first of all we have the extremely good trading conditions with JD brokers, we have the good connection, we have the low cheap commissions, uh, low trading costs and second of all, we have uh, the add-ons which, which are helping us to spare some commissions, which, which are helping us to take better decisions 